Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. So today we're going to talk about the top producers uh, in agriculture. So we're going to talk about the highest production, where which country has the topmost production in which crops. Uh, we're also going to talk about the uh, states as well, which, which are the highest or the top producing states in India of certain crops. Okay, so we'll be covering all of this in MCQs. So do watch the whole video. And my name is Hansa Nora Sangma and I've done my bachelor's in uh, horticulture and I've also completed my post graduation in agriculture okay so without wasting any more time uh, if you guys are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe to our uh, channel and you can also press the bell icon for further notifications and if you have liked the video don't forget to hit the thumbs up button right so without wasting any more time let's just start off with our session so the first question for today is India is the top producing country in which of the following okay guys so you guys have to select the vegetables in which it is the top most uh, producing country uh, pre producer in the world okay so uh, number A is eggplants, okay, number B says uh, cucumber, number C is chili, number D is okra, number E is cauliflower. Okay guys, uh, so uh, the right answer for this is okra, right? So okra is also known as the bindi, right? So India is the largest producer of okra in the world, okay? So roughly about every year it almost comes about 5 million tons production, uh, usually in volume per year, okay? And uh, when we're talking about the second place, it's Nigeria. So Nigeria comes in second in the production. But remember, okra is all the largest producer in the world, okay? So these are something about it. And now let's move on to another question. So uh, another question says, which of the following is the highest producer of the cut flower in the country? Okay, guys. So the options given here are number A is Karnataka. We have B, which says uh, the West Bengal. And number C is Tamil Nadu. We, uh, D is Gujarat. And number E says Himachal Pradesh. Here, the question says it's not asking about the total production in uh, flowers. Okay. So instead, here we're specifically uh, we're specifying on cut flowers. So your answer should be different. Okay. So the right answer for this is. West Bengal okay guys so West Bengal is the highest producer of uh, cut flowers all right and some of the here I've just given some of the areas uh, of cultivation in India where floriculture is produced okay so uh, we all we have Maharashtra Karnataka uh, Andhra Pradesh Haryana Tamil Nadu Rajasthan West Bengal they have uh, these are the hub or the states where uh, floriculture has emerged okay um, all right so now let us talk about what these cut flowers are and what these loose flowers are okay so uh, before going further the highest producer of loose flowers is in karnataka okay if i'm not mistaken right so um, basically this cut flower it is a flower that has been cut along with a portion of the stem okay so when you harvest the flowers this cut flowers these are harvested along with the stem okay and these are mostly used uh, for uh, ornamental uses okay of course they are used for ornamental uses but in such like in a putting in a vase or in a form of a bouquet okay but these loose flowers they cannot be used in form of a bouquet because these loose flowers these are the ones which are plucked out from the plant without the stem so they just pluck out only the flowers without the stem okay so a great example for this would be a uh, mogra hibiscus as well as marigold so if whenever you see a marigold we don't see the uh, we all we do see the cut flower, uh, the cut flowers of marigold, but marigold is mostly used as a loose flower in India, especially, right? And some of the example of a, a loose cut flowers would be roses, lavender, sunflower, or chrysanthemum, gladiolus. These are all used as the cut flowers. Okay, so these are something about the difference between uh, a cut flower and a loose flower. I hope it is clear. And now let us move on to another slide where we're going to talk more about the productions. Okay, and here uh, I've listed down the top producers in floriculture. Okay, in India, right? So for anthurium, okay, it is Assam. Right, and for uh, gerbera, we have Assam as well. Marigold is uh, Madhya Pradesh. Tube rose is West Bengal again. Carnation is Assam. Gladiolus, West Bengal. Orchids, Assam. Tulip is Jammu and Kashmir. Okay, chrysanthemum is Tamil Nadu. Jasmine, we have Tamil Nadu. And rose, again, we have 
West Bengal. So these are some of the uh, list of flowers, okay, along with the highest uh, producers in the country, okay. So remember this, uh, you can make your own notes as, as this table as such, so that it'll be much more easier when you revise your uh, the pro top producing states, okay. But at least I would guarantee, I think I would guarantee that at least one or two questions will definitely come from this uh, topic, from this production sectors, right. So try to know all the producers as well, the top producing states as well as the countries along with how much they produce every year, okay. Um, all right, now let's go to another question. Which of the following is the highest producer of almond, okay? So almond is basically a temperate crop, okay? So uh, think about it and you can, uh, it'll, you'll be able to answer. So A is Himachal Pradesh, number B is Jammu and Kashmir, number C is Uttarakhand, number D is uh, Arunachal Pradesh, and number E is Sikkim, okay? So the right answer for this is Jammu and Kashmir, okay? So uh, uh, almond, the highest producer of almond is in Jammu and Kashmir because for almond, we definitely need a lower temperature for your survival. So these are the temperate crops. These are not tropical uh, fruit crop, right? So they'll be needing a uh, lower temperature and so when where do we get a low temperature in there we get it in the higher elevations towards the himalayan side right so uh, jammu and kashmir would be a right answer okay guys for almond we have jammu and kashmir number for guava we have uttar pradesh we have mango it is uttar pradesh again we have sapota gujarat okay uh, graves maharashtra bear is gujarat again papaya andhra pradesh apple Jammu and Kashmir, okay? So these are some of the important uh, fruit trees that you guys have to remember the producers of, okay? So lychee, we have Bihar, okay? And peach, Uttarakhand, strawberry is Haryana, Aunla or gooseberry or an Indian gooseberry which is also known as Amla, right? So this is for Uttar Pradesh, okay? And jackfruit is Tripura, pear is Jammu and Kashmir, walnut, uh, German Kashmir and Kiwi is on uh, uh, Arunachal Pradesh, okay? So basically for uh, if you can make out that uh, all the temperate crops, right? So all these temperate food crops, the highest producers, these are mostly in German Kashmir, right? If we actually look into it, okay? And remember for Kiwi, it is in Arunachal Pradesh, okay guys? So these are some of the uh, fruit trees along with the top producing states in the country, all right? So remember to make a table this way. Uh, okay, which of the following is the highest producer of tobacco in the world? Okay, so you need to pick up the high top producer of tobacco in the world, right? So the options given here are India, we have B which says Russia, number C is China, and number D is Indonesia, and number E is USA. So out of these countries, which is the highest producer of tobacco? And now let us look into it. For uh, the uh, right answer is China. Okay, guys. So China is the highest producer of tobacco in the world, right? So we might get confused with India, but China is the highest producer of tobacco, right? So now let us look into some of the agricultural crops uh, along with the um, top producing countries in the world, right? So for gram, the highest producer is India. Okay, and for pulses again, it's India, and for soybean, it is in Brazil. And Badra, India, groundnut is China, uh, for rice is China again, sugarcane is Indonesia, Jor is Nigeria, uh, lentil and tur, which is uh, the Masur and Arhar, uh, it is both in India, okay. And for cotton, the highest producer of cotton is China again, barley, it is in Russia, sunflower is again in Russia, millet, it is in India, and oats. Lastly, it's in Russia. So these are some of the agriculture crops along with its top producers in the country, or in the, in the world, okay? So um, remember all this. And now let's go to our last question here. Uh, so the last question here says highest producer of tomato in the country. So you have to select which of the following states are the largest producer of tomato in the country, okay? So guys, for this question, I would like you all to answer. So if you guys have any idea, drop it in the comment section so I'll be able to know whether you guys are knowing about all these factual data or stats or not, okay? So it's a very easy question that I framed here. So um, I'm probably 
probably uh, most confident, more confident that all of you guys might be able to answer this question, okay? So the uh, options given here are number A is Uttar Pradesh, we have B which says Haryana, number C is Maharashtra, number D is Karnataka, and number E is Andhra Pradesh, okay guys? So the right, uh, the right answer for this, you guys need to drop it in the comment section, okay? Uh, well, that's all for today. Uh, we have listed out some, we couldn't cover all the crops, agriculture crops, right? But I think we have covered most of the important one crops as well. And um, in that way, you can make a table for yourself, you can make a note for yourself. In that way, you can remember these producers as well as uh, these producers start producing uh, countries as well as the states in the world and as well as in the country much more easier, okay? that's all for today and i hope you guys have enjoyed this session i hope this session was fruitful i hope you've learned something new and uh if you guys are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe you can also press the bell icon for further notifications and if you've liked the video don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and share with your friends whoever's given the exam right so it might be a help for them as well and we'll be meeting for the next session